Yeah, it's beautiful outside. There's only one thing we can do. Let's go hiking. Got the camera bag. She's gonna water some plants. We're gonna hit the Hamilton Greenbelt. So stick around, this should be fun. I'm hoping to maybe get about nine and a half to 10 miles today. Whoa, crap. We're not hiking yet. Once again, I forgot something. Gotta get my hat. Okay, now we're ready to go. Pretty nice view of West Austin beyond the P. Terry's there. I recommend a veggie burger with bacon on it. Just find something cool? I'm gonna let you guess what they're from. You give up? Well, every year for Christmas, we allow people to come out and decorate the trees off the side of the highways. They're supposed to pick up after themselves. And they sometimes do. Champagne corks. Yes, I would like a club, a large club. I got you over here. I'm with him. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what up? Hey, we know that guy. That was my friend Elijah. I used to work with him at Backwoods. See that guy riding his motorcycle up and down the road. Driving around Lakeway, better be careful. We're on Loman's Crossing right now. People honking at us trying to get into our video here. Don't worry, it's not worth it. It's boring. That's not even the right time. Not even close, it's only 2.30. Uh, thanks for the warning. Now let's see if we see some deer. Or a fire truck. Right now we're in the Smith Greenbelt. It's right across the street from the Hamilton Greenbelt out here in Lakeway. Already got bit by a mosquito. Got my bug protector on. Ready to go. Just like that, we're out of town and into nature. Well, there you have it. There's the Smith Green Belt. So we're turning around. We're going to go back the way we came and hit the Hamilton Green Belt. And that should be a lot longer trail with a little bit more diversity and a lot more sweat. Kind of got caught up there. Well, that's what happens when we go off the beaten path and try to find cool little break spots. What do you think? It's right on the water. Got some rocks we can sit on. Plenty of mosquitoes that can bite and eat on us while we sit here and rest our legs for a minute. Why not? We just had lunch.
We're officially on the Hamilton Greenbelt Trail now. Yeah, we've already gone four miles and we've got a long way to go. Our day pretty much just got started. I think we've been on this trail for at least three quarters of a mile now, if not a mile. It just keeps winding back into the middle of this wooded area out here in Lakeway. But it's not easy, it's not hard, but it's pretty cool. You get to hear lots of sounds, some birds, some water, some wind. Well, after about a mile or so of squiggling through the woods, we're back out on the main highway. This is where the bicyclists and joggers come running by. Yeah, we found a little water fountain station and cool enough, they even have a little dog bowl. It looks like they clean it regularly. Where'd it go, Greenbelt? Keeping it eco and family and animal friendly since 19 something something. Maybe 18 something something. It's always nice to take advantage of these little benches when we come across them. I can't wait till we find a place that we get to play around in some water. I hope that happens anyway. Oftentimes it does. But we better hurry or she's going to beat us to our spot. <laughs> Hey, check it out. Look what we found. Well, we're almost six miles into this thing and we have a lot further to go, so we don't really know what's ahead of us. Been out here one time and I'm hoping that I can find the cool spot that I found the last time. I was at work last time, so I'm glad I get to be here this time. This kind of reminds me of the Sam Houston National Forest, which also reminds me we need to get back there. Well, we might need to make a few phone calls to find out what condition that place is in after Hurricane Harvey. Last time I was here, the this channel that we're overlooking was full of water. Now it's just a little creek that you can hike along, which actually sounds pretty appetizing to me. Yeah, especially later in the day when the sun starts going down. Yeah, hopefully we can get down there. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it would be too hard. Well, there's a path this way. That way's too dangerous. So. Yeah. We didn't even plan on shooting an episode today. It was so pretty outside. We were like, <laughs> let's go and bring you guys. Why not? We've already burned off all the sandwich that we had and the chips and the drinks. Over a thousand calories burned so far. That's right. Making room for something bigger and better. Well, we stumbled upon a really nice view of Lake Travis. The water is low. It makes me wonder if they opened the dam and let some water out because of Harvey. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. Yeah. Well, we 
made it to the destination that I had in mind, we came down that little trail. There is one that goes this way called the Upper Loop. There's what's left of Lake Travis at the moment. sit here for a minute and figure out what we should do next. I know whatever we decide to do next is going to involve lots and lots of hiking. Well, I did have a, a minor steppage in water earlier, so drying it out a little bit. Although, smart wolves, keens, my feet are great. Well, we opted out of swimming just because we feel like we've got more to do with our day. We can find better things to do than swim in that hot water. Well, according to the sign, we take the upper loop. All right. Upper it is. It's official. We came to the end of the green belt. And now it switches back and we head toward the exit. Lots and lots of hills out here to keep it enjoyable for everyone on a bicycle or on foot. I don't know how some of these mountain bikers, whoa, see? I don't know how some of them do it, man. This is some steep stuff. This trail just opens up into these jungle-esque, wide open areas. Has some sort of epic qualities to it. I do say so that he says so himself. Yes. This is our backyard. Somebody mentioned something about stealth camping, yes? Hammock City. That was Sailmaster Waterfall, and it's definitely worth a pit stop off the beaten path to go check out. That's pretty cool. Well, according to this, we are 8.7 miles in. Getting caught up on your socials? Adding some pictures to the web so y'all can keep up. So what you're saying is, we deserve to eat good tonight. Oh, we definitely deserve to eat good tonight. And we finally got to see that fire truck. Yep. <laughs> Don't forget, we saw the deer too. All right, we made it home. Woo! Well, it turns out it did get dark on us, but we're home, we made it. 11.8 miles today. I'd say that deserves a well-rounded dinner and an icy cold beverage. We're in the car now. Did a little wardrobe change, and now it's time to go find a place to eat.
That's all we had as leftovers. That's it. We ate everything else. It was tasty, and I would do it again. All of it. We didn't do the two for 20. I can barely walk. It's a good thing we get to go up three flights of stairs. I don't want to. It's game time, folks. We're gonna throw on The Witcher 3, probably immerse ourselves in this for the next two hours. At least. And then we'll probably pass out with our faces on this desk. <laughs> That's probably true. We work tomorrow. It's been a great adventure. Thank you for joining us. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to put it together and show it all to you. Until then, I'm Clint. And I'm Melody. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit that thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook and find us on Instagram. And remember to get out and go camping. We're about to meet up with the main trail. Mosquitoes are all over us. The bug protector didn't really help this We gotta time. put more on, that's all. Yeah, okay. Um, let's try again. <laughs> Well, we're almost to the main trail and mosquitoes are picking up so I guess we'll head on back to the car. Wait, the car is at home. We'll have, we'll have, Jesus Christ. <laughs>